Okay, PJ. <clears throat> well, I have your watches here. Uh, thank you for sending them in. Um, here's your 6139. Cosmetically, it's beautiful. Um, I mean, the dial is beautiful, and it's a it's a true poke. It's the real deal. It's only a couple months before his, and uh, it's always nice to see something like this. The case is in good shape. It's dirty, but the case is in good shape. The movement looks nice, too. Um, I always look for these, because um, when these... I always look in these to see where in particular places, and yours doesn't have it. When this winding bridge starts to loosen up, the weight will start to hit the bridge, and grind this down to brass and but that's not here you don't see that it looks nice um, overall it's good looking uh, it's running it's not running particularly well but it is running um, it's running very weakly and uh, it's definitely dirty inside I can definitely see that also um, the seals the button seals are not good somebody put in these seals but they're not actually correct um, so they're not going to really do anything to help protect this watch from water. Uh, your crystal looks good, though. Overall, it's an excellent watch. Um, that's the, all the good stuff. This is the part that was kind of a problem for you. The crown is bad. It's stripped, as you knew. Uh, but unfortunately, the stem is also not happy either. The stem is too short, and so it's not usable. The stem is junk. That's the bad news. Uh, the good news is, though, is that you didn't lose these two incredibly critical pieces. This is the indicator ring gear, and that's the spring. These two pieces are very, very, very hard to find, and you have both of yours. Now, I have crowns. They make good aftermarket ones, so that's not a problem. This stem, 357612, very hard to find. I have some, uh, but not many, and they are, unfortunately, they are not cheap. Um, it see you can see as I go back and forth see it's got that sort of square profiled section there towards the top that's what this gear sits on it's what turns the gear when you turn the crown which then turns the indicator ring I have a few of these but they're really really hard to come by and they are unfortunately they are not cheap so uh, so good news we can make this happen bad news uh, I'm gonna have to you're gonna have to buy a stem and I'm gonna have to there's gonna be some time involved in my building this for you because it's got to be Everything's got to be built very carefully to make sure this is correct, and it takes time. Okay, I'm going to put you down for just a second. Hang on. <clears throat> Let me set this thing. Oh, I didn't show you the numbers for your other watch. It was running in like the 150s. It was running actually pretty poorly, but it just it's running like it's dirty. It's just, it's running like it's unlubricated and dirty, and that's just the way it was running. Now, this watch, cosmetically, it's beautiful. I love the 7002s. I was so happy to open your box and see a 7002 in there. People, um, people don't understand what great watches they are and how amazingly beautiful they are internally and what great movements they've got. Um, they're, they're really excellent watches, and by total coincidence... I am wearing a 7002 right now. This is a 7002, 7009. Totally original. But yours is completely original, including the seals. The seals are junk. This seal is so bad, it's actually turning into sort of a tarry kind of goo. So the crown seal's junk. All the seals are garbage. Um, and the dis deteriorating seals um, have sort of clam, have sort of messed up the interior because there's little black chunks of stuff everywhere the watch is looks good but it's definitely dirty and it's running very very weakly and definitely needs a rebuild um but it's completely worth it it's a jdm original 7002 7001 it's a this is a nice watch um and definitely worth it and cosmetically it looks excellent but it's just it's running so poorly that i can't even my machine can't even get a signal on it I mean, it's just, it just, it can't, it can't pick up anything because there's so much chatter. I mean, you can kind of see it there on the screen, but, it, you know, in a good running watch, that'll be a single, strong, strong, flat line, and we're getting this, like, this mess, and my machine, again, can't even read it. You can kind of visually see it, and it's got a lot of beat error, and it's choppy, and it's messy, and it's gross, um, but we can definitely make it better.
not a problem. Um, I don't know, and that's about that's about it. So you've got a stem, you've got your watch, you've got your I'm sorry, you got a stem. I don't think there's going to be anything inside the six thousand five other than that. Uh, possibly um, center wheel, possibly um, the mainspring arbor. Uh, I just say that because that seems to be typically what wears. And of course, lastly, we have this. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? What a beautiful piece. Totally original. 100% completely original. I'm the second owner. Too bad I don't keep duplicates, otherwise I would not be letting this one go. What a great watch. Okay, that ought to do us for now. Okay, see ya.